Good evening, everyone. I am Hisa Kim, and my topic today is me, you, and us. The world is no longer a place where people reject each other based on strict nationality, but a global village where people try to respect each other and understand each other. But the current quo is not what the ultimate state of the global village should look like. The best is yet to come. Even though it has gotten much better than the past, there still exists an ostracism for things that are unfamiliar. The world will become the best when we acknowledge each other as being different rather than being wrong and cooperate. When I was a fifth grader in elementary school, I had a chance to live in Australia for two years. At first, I tried to copy everything the kids did, but soon realized that it was not the right way and decided to show my difference. Still, the kids showed favorable attitudes and they wanted to get to know about me. But there were also some weird situations due to different nationalities. For example, there was this a choir competition where all schools in town participated in, and our school decided to sing the Australian national anthem. But my brother and I were also in the choir, so this strange atmosphere started to form around us too. Because people started to worry that it might be offending for us to sing the Australian national anthem instead of Korea's. But instead of making the situation any worse, we came upon a perfect solution. We sang the Australian national anthem and the Korean national anthem. The solemn atmosphere of the Korean national anthem that people heard for the first time and the sight of two nations' national anthems being sung together was more than enough to impress the audiences and our team got the biggest appraisal that day. This event even made the front page of a school newspaper that week. Now, this was the first time that I realized that there could be a greater success if people, no matter where they're from, meet, respect each other, and work together in pursuit of shared purpose. My personal experience may not have been enough to change the whole world, but if this attitude of understanding and respect spread throughout the world, the change it will bring is endless. Respect is the beginning of all cooperation, and cooperation is a key to solving all the problems in the process of becoming the best. Please take a look at this picture. This was taken at the moment the firefighters from the US and Canada met at the border right after extinguishing the California forest fire in 2020. The Canada and the US are two different countries, but at the moment of an emergency, they worked together to overcome the disaster through cooperation. This was a cooperation between a relatively amicable countries, yet the most wonderful thing about cooperation is that it can happen even between two conflicting opponents. Take East and West Germany as an example right after their reunification. Even though they were one country, there were still many conflicts inside due to social and economic gap. But the former East and West Germany worked together to solve this inequality, and as a result, the Federal State Organizational Maintenance Agency was prom promoted, and the sisterhood relationship between the former East and West was also promoted. And through such programs, about 36,000 people were sent to the East from 1991 to 1995, and this had a significant effect on stabilizing the country. What we can see from these cases is that genuine cooperation has the power to make this world by far the best place to live in for every one of its residents. Before I go down the stage, I would like to remind you one last thing. We're all different, but none of us is wrong. Respect each other, and together we stand. Thank you.